Hey guys, I hope you're good. I'm Timo, and welcome to volume 31 of the trade-up videos. We've got a bunch of trade-ups to do today for a mix of budgets, so let's get going. The first one today is going to be from the St. Mark collection, and it's going to be an industrial to mill spec one. This is the lowest budget one that we're going to start off with today, and you can get good odds and a nice little profit here if it goes your way. We're using four skins from St. Mark, so for this it's going to be these two M4 Dark Blossoms and then two of these Tech 9 Rust Leafs. Now those are all in field tested and then we've got six factory new train skins which are these ones here. Get them in, there you go. And I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys so you can see it. We're using the train skins for industrial trade ups as always because they've only got two outcomes at mill spec and not three so that's very important if you want the better odds at winning obviously. So as you can see from the picture the odds are in our favour at 57% and all of our potential outcomes here are factory new. Even getting the train skins isn't too bad of a loss at least as the factory new ones hold quite good value for further trade ups. So I do quite like this trade up, it's pretty decent. It's a cost of £2.20, so that's €2.42 or $2.70. The factory new mill spec train skins are a loss of just over half of your money, and the factory new mill spec St. Mark skins are just over half of your money profit, pretty much. So it's a kind of balanced trade up, and the, for the outcomes, it's slightly in our favour with the odds. So let's see what we get from this first one. Hey, found my sundown. Cool. So that's a good start. That's a win for the first trade up, and that is in fact renew. 0 0.061. Hey, nice. So that's quite a good little start. Pleased with that one. <laughs> so, for the second one we're going to do today, hopefully we can carry on with the wins for this. It's going to be a mill spec to restricted one, and it's going to be from the Shattered Web collection, and it's going to be a stat track one. So, obviously, with this, we're hoping to find an AK 47 rat rod. So I'm just going to get all of these in here. For this one, we are using eight of them in field tested, I think. And then two of them are in well worn. There you go. I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys so you can see it. It's um, another low budget one, I feel, but you can do it without the stat track for an even lower budget. So it's quite a risky one as all the profit lies in a 20% chance for actually hitting the rat rod. For this one, all 10 skins are from the Shattered Web Collection. You could maybe switch the floats around a little bit, maybe bring in a Battle Scarred for a field tested, but you can yeah, pretty much use a few field tested and you can get away with a couple of well worns and maybe a Battle Scarred to still retain the field tested floats. So our setup for today will get a 0.31 float with these skin inputs. So you can see our 20% chance there on the picture for the AK. The Org isn't too bad to get, that's an absolutely tiny little profit, but the other three are a fail. This one costs £2.90, so that's €3.19 or $3.56. The AK is about triple your money at the moment, and the Org is a few pence, like a very small profit. And the rest is a loss of around two-thirds of your money, slightly less than that. So let's hope for the AK and see how we do for the second one today. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> the PP buys on embargo. I think that is the worst thing you can get out of that. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, field tested. I'm pretty sure that is the worst one. 0 0.31. So yeah, that's a bit of a fail for that one. <laughs> uh, we didn't even get anything to break even on that. But never mind. So that's the little kind of risky one I would say done for there. Um, so for this third one we're going to try today, it's going to be a 50-50 shot. So definitely more favourable odds for us. And this one is going to be either for an M4A4 Emperor or for a 5-7 Angry Mob. It's from the Prisma collection and it's a classified to covert trade up. So for this one we've got all 10 of the skins from the Prisma collection. It's all these R8 Revolver Skull Crushers. They're all the same. So I'm just going to chuck all these in. There you go. I'll lob it on the screen for you guys. Now all 10 of these are in well worn. So we only get field tested outcomes even though we're not using any field tested input. So that helps to bring the cost down a little bit. So you might even get away with being able to use a battle scarred in there if there's one going cheap and still get a field tested outcome. So the cost for this one was £14.80, so that's €16.29 or $18.16. The Emperor is of course the profit here and that's what we're after. And the 5.7, even though it's a really cool skin, it is the fail and it is the loss. So we've got 50-50 odds for this basically, it's a coin flip. So let's see, can we pull the Emperor? No! <laughs> oh, that's another fail. That is a 5.7 angry mob. 
And I really like it, don't get me wrong, it is a cool pistol. But, ah, oh, that's a loss. It's quite weird. But, eh, it's nice. I, I do like it. It's pretty cool. But, uh it's not good for the profit, though. It's not good for the profit. <laughs> but we're going to do one more today. So an absolute final trade-up. And it is one of my favourite trade-ups when it works. It's Mill Spectre Restricted one. And it's going to be a Norse Collection one. So for this one, we're going to use three Norse skins, which are going to be the Mac 10 and then we should have two shotguns, yeah there we go. Uh, two of those are factory new and one of those is minimal wear and then we've got seven skins from the Italy collection. So I'm just gonna get all these loaded up. There you go. So that's how it's gonna look like. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Um, with these we've got three in factory new, three in field tested and one is well worn. Now as you can probably see for the outcomes for the Norse skins here, they're all factory new but only just. This is going to give a 0.069 float for the Norse outcome, which is pretty much the worst factory new float you can get. But we're basically just after the market value for kind of as cheap as I could do it. So this cost about £23.90, so it's about €26.31 or about $29.33. Our Norse outcomes are all a win, the Deagle is definitely the best one to hit though, and we really want to avoid the old enemy, the Orp Pit Viper. It is just a ruiner of dreams. So the Orp is of course a loss of almost everything, but for the Norse skins, for the P90 or the Org, they're going to be nearly double your money, and if we get the Deagle, that's over 2.5 times your money, so that's really what we want here. The odds are in our favour at 56%, so let's hope we can end the video on a good note and manage to hit a Norse skin here. So here we go. Please Gaben, come on. Yes! Nice! Got one. It's not the Deagle, but it is a win. That is an Org Flame Jormungander. And yeah, 0 0.06987. So it's very nearly not factory new. But that's a win for the final one. Ah, oh, that's really cool. It's got a bit of scratching here, but the actual body of the thing is uh, not too bad. Bit down the middle. But the rest of it's fine. It doesn't look too bad at all, I don't think, considering the float, anyway. But that's cool. I'm really happy with that. We actually managed to get a little win at the end of it, so that's <laughs> at least decent. So I'm not sure for overall for spent to received back today what we're going to have, but I'm going to guess we're probably around break-even with the Org and the St. Mark skin taken into account and then the two that we lost. So maybe a little bit more, actually, given that we're going to be able to sell the 5.7 and stuff like that. We may come out just over what we spent on the video I'm not sure, I'll have to work it out afterwards and I'll let you guys know in the next one but it's been a fun video, tried a bunch of different trade ups from different setups and stat track and not stat track so it's not been too bad a one I don't think for today but thank you all so much for watching the trade ups, I hope you found them interesting if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up, drop me a comment and subscribe for more from the channel you can also join our discord with the link in the description and come and have a little chat with the trade up community that we've got building there, thanks Thanks again, see you all Tuesday for the next one. Bye bye.